Hey guys, Alex of North here. Today, I will be showing you my villager stuff. There will be a link in the description for the... Oh, let me fix my camera. What do you think of my new positioning, guys? Okay, so basically, um... So, this is my little thing here. These villagers spawn cats up here and iron golems. So the iron golems will spawn like right here, maybe, right? And then it will fall inside and it will kill them by hitting their head in the lava. And then you'll get some iron. Once they die, they have a lot of health. See, and you get some iron. And then we go over to my own design of a villager breeder. Very, very easy to make. And that's going to be today's topic. Villager breeder tutorial. Okay, so we're over here. Okay, first we got a time. It's day, that phantom should be dying. So we're just gonna go over here. Basically, this is not going to look very, very good. So if you're looking for a good looking one, I'll find some kind of breeder in the description below, and it'll be put in the description. But whatever, right here, we're going to build a box. Just a big box. I don't know. I don't want to be generous with this box here. I have no idea how big this is right now. I will check later. Whatever. But, anyways, this is pretty easy. And I actually kind of like my new webcam set setup. Yeah, this should work. But some of the, I'm not really going to give you any dimensions for this box or anything. Or like the amount of stuff you're going to need. You're going to have to figure that out yourself. Because I don't know how big you want this. And stuff like that, so. If I know how big you would want things, then... I'd be saying dimensions right now. And, well, I'm just going to skip to me being done built the, well, exterior. Okay, exterior done. So, basically, next we're going to work on the minecart system that's going to bring the villagers from wherever they are to your system here. I'm going to build a system uh, a simple one that I can just spawn them in at. So they'll just go up here. And then they'll just find their way in. Basically, everything that's not this I 
like non like this base is this is going to be farmland and the rest is going to this is going to be like pavement and then the re and this is going to be farmland so let's mark it off oops The holes are going to be for water, just so you guys know. And So that will do its thing, and then here we'll just And if you have any questions on how I built this one, please ask in the comments below. Okay, almost done here. No, I'm just going to skip to when I've done this. That sounds awesome. Okay, guys, um, right here, I've just laid out the beds. Yes, I have planned a ton of villagers to live in here. I just want everything to be accessible like this, so. And then they have space to walk around, right? Nice, big, more like jail here. I don't really know what to call it, but it's something. Now we're going to make a little docking station here, right? I'm not going to put like barrier blocks or anything around here. Just going to make it so the villagers can't get out. So this is like a can containment area before they go like up in a minecart. And then I have the little area here so they can get going. Then then we have this because I know when I was uh, using my other one I had trouble uh, keeping the um, villagers in here so I'm looking to fix that this time
not trying to make this look good. We're just trying to make it functional. So they zoom in here. So let's give this a test. So we put the villager in here. Buckle, it's a fisherman. Boom. They go in. Oops. And then they get a bed. But that was just the example so far. Well, anyways. So basically, we put our farmer in here. Farmer goes up. This guy is just going to... I like your monocle, whoever you are. Whatever. So, boom. Boom. So he goes to his bed. That is awesome. You should go to a bed as well. So these two are set up here. So we're going to time set day here. And next we're going to work on... So remember my other base is over there. So right now we have two villagers here. So we're gonna have to get some dispensers. Dispenser. Repeaters. And redstone. It really depends how much potatoes you're going to throw out every single day. I want to throw out a ton. Potatoes coming from everywhere. So we're going to have to wire the, um, one of these up to every single one of them. Oops. Every one of these is going to have... Uh, it's going to be like wired up to one system. So wait, we're also going to need one daylight sensor. Just one. Like, I'm literally just going to put that here. This should all be wired up to work every day, basically. I will put all the potatoes in. Okay, guys, I just set up the system, so whenever it becomes night, these guys will get in bed. Get in bed, monocle. Get in bed, monocle. Awesome. And then it becomes day. Potatoes fall around at the sky. Pick them up, people.
all in my... Well, my, my other, in my other design, they'd already be gone by now. Okay, let's, let's see if this works. Basically, they get in bed. Day. Yeah! Villager! Oh, the farmer really. Breed farmers. Well, anyways, eventually people will breed here, and this is the whole thing built, which is awesome. I hope this isn't a super duper long video, but anyways, um, this is Alex. I'm out.